Hey guys, so I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. This one is geared towards makeup. Um, well, it is, it's a, yeah, Dollar Tree slash elf makeup haul. There we go. I got this, I promise. I've been sick, I'm like, blah. I'm just exhausted, I want to go to sleep. So, my thought process is a little bit slower than normal. <laughs> Bear with me. Oh, look at this shirt, isn't it cute? I love it. It's got an owl on it. It's super comfy. Got it from Walmart. We've really been getting some nice stuff in over the past year or so. Like, we had crap products for like three or four years, but past year or so, I've gotten some nice stuff in. Anyways, on to the Dollar Tree and Elf stuff. Um, I'm going to try to do Elf first and then go into the Dollar Tree, but a few of the Elf products I actually got from the Dollar Tree. But the most of them I got from my local Meyer store. I know you can also find them at Target. And sometimes Walmart will have them. I've been to Walmart that don't have them. And I've been to Walmart that do have them. So it's just kind of like a hit or a miss. Walmart that do have them seem to have a very small selection. Target so far seems to have the largest selection. Meyer has a pretty decent sized selection. And you can of course order them at elf.com. I am not affiliated with Elf. But I love their products. Like, I am slowly getting a whole elf collection of makeup my own self. So, without any further ado, the first one that I got, and I did get it at my local Meyer because it's five bucks, so elf's not gonna sell it at Dollar Tree, is the 48 piece Little Black Beauty Book Warm Edition. They had two of these, um, the other one was a little bit bigger. But I got this one because because of the packaging, it looks huge. The other one, you could see the palette in the box. And you could see the um, little eyeshadow pots that are inside the palette. And they were much bigger. You got less colors, but it was a very big palette. But this, the box was smaller, so I figured giant box, giant palette, but it's small. <laughs> But that's okay because for five bucks, like I've got, I got a whole bunch of eyeshadows, and the other one was just like, let me see there, so we don't get glare. You would get like one side of the palette, and the other side was like glass case, like there was nothing going on, so, and you didn't even get this many colors. Like it was like maybe two or three rows, but they were bigger, which was nice. I might go back and get it. It was the same price, five bucks. Um, I haven't even tried this yet. But I love it. It's got lots of pretty natural, neutral, nude colors, however you want to say it. And a couple couple fun ones up here. Purple down here. Like a, I don't know if it's quite purple. Maybe like a burgundy. Some blues and some greens. But a lot, a lot of the nude colors, which I really like using the nude colors. I like to have very natural looking makeup. So that was a, a very nice buy, in my opinion. Get rid of the box. Um... Can I find in here? Then we've got the glitter gloss by Elf. I have not tried this yet. I'm going to open it up and have a look. So I've got like this little dust particle on my phone screen, and the way it's positioned when I look at it, it looks like I have like a little beauty mark right here. So I keep looking at myself like, yeah, that's cute. I like that. Anyways. <laughs> Go ahead and have a look at that up close. Can you read that? I don't know. It's backwards to me, so it should be good for you. How well can you see that? It's kind of like a gold glittery. It's kind of pretty. I'll just put it on top of what I've already got on. Ooh, that looks very sticky. Look. Can you see that pulling? Yeah, I don't know about this. And it's got like a nail polish kind of brush on the end. It's very firm. It doesn't spread out very well. I mean, that's not bad. It smells vanilla-y. It's very thick. But it's not stringy. Like, uh, it's not doing the string thing when I open my mouth. So that's good. It's not overly glittery. I mean, it's it's got some shimmer to it. It uh, I got I got lipstick all over it. 
yeah, you can't even see the uh, the glitter once it's on, which is very, it's, it's shiny, it's definitely glossy, but it's not super over the top. So, not bad. Um, and then here is the lip liner I have on currently. I did already open the package. It is from e.l.f. I think. Yeah, I got it upside down. I stuck it back in upside down. It's a very pretty berry color. Um, I don't know how much more is left on my lips because that glitter gloss took a lot off. It was very pointy, <laughs> but it was very nice. I definitely like this color. Let me see how well you can see that. I don't know. Here, let me do a swatch. Swatch it, swatch it. There, maybe. I don't know. It's a very pretty berry color. I like it. And it did come with a sharpener, which I thought was quite nice for only being a dollar. I did get this from the Dollar Tree, but it's also e.l.f. There we go. <laughs> and, ooh, I like this product right here. It is the, um, this is the box. Oh, no, that's glitter gloss. Here we go. Um, e.l.f. Studio Lip Plumper, Lip Primer and Plumper. Clear and Neutral are the colors the plumper is in clear and the primer is in neutral which was kind of nice it just like took all of my natural lip color off so when I applied my lip liner like that was the only color going on which was quite nice I didn't have to compete with my natural pinkness of my lips the plumper I feel that it does work it definitely has a strong cinnamon smell um, but not much of a cinnamon taste. I can't taste the cinnamon, which is good because I'm not the biggest fan of the taste of cinnamon. Like, it, it depends. But to just, like, want it to suck on, like, a cinnamon peppermint, not gonna happen. Not my thing. Or, like, a red hot or something like that. So that's nice. It doesn't have the taste, but definitely has the cinnamon smell. And it kind of, like, has a tingly burning sensation at first. Um, I, I don't know why that is. I think maybe because my lips are a little chapped, possibly. But it works. Like, I definitely feel my lips get plumper pretty quick. And then, and that sensation doesn't last long. Maybe a minute or so. And then here is the primer. Like the nude. And I was quite pleased with that as well. It worked very well. And I just kind of like the packaging. It's very, uh, sophisticated. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever word you want to go with. I don't know how I like this gloss. The more I have it on, the more like, mmm. I don't know. I just don't know. And then here is my other lip liner I bought from e.l.f. Also from the Dollar Tree. Um, the color is Bark. This berry colored one was called Bitter. Hmm. 1901 Bitter. This was 1903 Bark. This should have been called Berry. It sounds much better. I'm calling it Barry. I have a friend named Barry. Hmm. I wonder how he feel about that. But he wouldn't care. Put a little bit on here. That is very uh, grown up looking. <laughs> here is the newest one I just put on there. It's very like I should have done this hand. Like I have better control. It's very uh, I don't know, nude colored lipstick but just kind of a little darker than your normal nude color I guess well nude for darker nude for me I guess it would depend on your skin color it would depend on how nude it is for you I feel like it's a very grown up looking color um mm, the bronzers or the contour there we go here it is this product I was very pleased with. I've got it on right now, and I really like it. I very, I feel like it does a very good job. I've got the highlight and the contour on. The highlight's a little shimmerier than I would like it to be, and the bron the bronzer and or contour, whatever you want to call it, it has a bit of a shimmer to it as well. Um, which it's not horrible once it's on. Open that up. The ones I have got on today are the bottom two. I've got this on as my contour and this one on as my highlight. Let me see. There we go. But not bad. Um, I was a little leery about using this because I was watching... Let me see if I can pronounce her name right. 
Um, well, it's Graveyard Girl, but she's got a three in there somewhere. Grave Three Yard Girl? Graveyard Three Girl? I don't know. I don't remember. But anyways, she was um, doing the, uh, what was it, the five minute makeup challenge, or maybe she was just using drugstore products. I don't remember. I watched a couple of her makeup videos, and she used a couple of e.l.f. palettes. It wasn't this exact one, but she used a bronzer highlight, which I have not been able to find, and I want to use it. I want it. But I can't find it. <laughs> anyways, um, hers just have like the dark bronzer on one side and then the highlight on the other. And when she used her brush, which she actually had my, this e.l.f. brush, which I have, and I love it. Um, when she put it on there, it just, like, crumbled, and it had a lot of fallout. And same with the setting powder. She just, like, touched the brush to it, and had a lot of fallout. So I don't know if she's heavy-handed, or if those two products are just, like, maybe it's just those two aren't great. But I used this brush on these, and they did fine. I didn't have any problems. I mean, as you can tell, like, they hardly even look like they're used. So, I liked it. I don't know. Um, if I get those and I try them out, I'll let you know. But until then, I think that's it for my e.l.f. products. Um... So, I'm just double checking the bag. So I might come across one more. I think I got everything out, though. So, we'll just get into the Dollar Tree makeup. We'll start out with this uh, makeup foundation. The color is light, and it's from Enrigen. Enrigen? Enrigen? I don't know. I'm, I might be pronouncing it wrong. What do you think? I don't know. I didn't hate it. Um, it's definitely too light for my skin tone right now as is because I've got a bit of a tan going on. I don't know how well you can tell. Like, I probably look pretty white to you, but this is tan for me <laughs> and it's too dark for this makeup. So, I used a different, um, Dollar Tree foundation. That I already had laying around was a little bit darker and then I used this as like a liquid highlight and then I put the elf highlight on top of it everything I'm wearing today is everything I just got out of this haul um except for my primer which is an elf primer but I've already had it for a while and it um came from Walmart or maybe it was Meyer. I don't remember everything I'm wearing is elf or Dollar Tree today pretty sure except for my uh, green stick I think it's from Color Workshop. I'm not really for sure. I need to find more of it. But this is the foundation I have on. It's not horrible. This isn't horrible. It's not bad once you get it on. But it is a thicker... It is thicker. Like, I, I don't have cake face, which is very nice. And everything is covered, which is also nice. And I did use this concealer, which I already had laying around. But it is a Dollar Tree brand concealer. Um, which is very thick going on. It wasn't necessarily a bad thing, it was just thicker than what I'm used to. I've usually been using the uh, True Match colors, and they go on a lot lighter, and they do the same job. Um, but for a dollar, you get the same same results, just, you know, um, it's cheaper and it's a little thicker. It's not necessarily a bad thing. And then I got my very first eyelash curler. I used to try using my mom's when I was younger, could never really... I don't know, I just felt weird doing it, so I didn't really do it. Um, yeah, this isn't bad. I mean, it works for a buck. It worked quite nice on the false eyelashes I'm wearing, which is also Dollar Tree brand. I didn't get them in this haul. I got them in the last one. Uh, I, I did a little review on them. They're okay. And I got myself a buffer, which I needed a new nail buffer. And some mascara, which I have not tried because I put on the fake eyelashes and then I tried to put on some of the mascara and it just felt weird. So I didn't put any more on. This one I haven't opened yet. And then I've got another one that I did open and I tried it. And I think it's going to be an okay formula. I think it's going to work well, but it just felt really weird going on top of the fake eyelashes. So I did like one coat and I was like, I'm done with that because it just felt really weird. And then I got more, this is from L'Oreal, but more of those like stickers for your fingernails. Which I'm going to do a review on these as well. Um, nail glue for some fake nails that I got in the other 
uh, Dollar Tree haul. I haven't tried them out yet too well. And then this eyeshadow, which I'm currently wearing, and I love it. I thought it was so pretty, so shimmery, so pigmented. I don't know how well you can see that. Like, I look so goofy with these eyelashes on. I didn't get them on great my first time applying them. But I love this eyeshadow. So here it is. And the first little swatch right here. It's very, very, very light. It's like a nice little sunflower color is this one right here. And then, of course, the middle is like this bronzy. And the end here is this one. And I just really love them. I don't know how well they're showing up on my camera, but in real life, these are very bright. They're very nice, except for that Sunflower one. It's just very light. You could do it all over your eye and not feel weird about it. And then I got myself a little manicure set. Really, I just wanted the scissors. <laughs> and then the nail polishes. I was quite pleased with these nail polishes. My Dollar Tree recently got in like a whole nail polish selection. Um, they're the LA Colors, all of them that I picked up. Yes. And we'll just, I'll just show you, I'll talk a little bit about them and I'll show you the colors. So this one is like a Ninja, Ninja Turtle Green. I don't know if you guys have seen the little tutorial going on Facebook where this lady like paints the Ninja Turtles on her fingernails. Mike asked me if I could do it because he loves Ninja Turtles. And I was like, well, I gotta get green nail polish. I came across this color which I thought hey Ninja Turtle Green that'll work great let me see how well this is gonna come up <laughs> there we go I was very disappointed in it like this is the color and this is after like four or five coats and it just sucks horribly like you can still see my nail underneath it's not as pigmented as I would like it to be and I just don't foresee me ever really using this. Like, it just, it was, it's not great. I don't care for it. And then, uh, next color in line would be this blue color. Um, I'm trying to see if it has a name of its own. I'm not seeing one on here. Baby blue. And the green was, ugh, the green was called scream which I could scream when I was putting it on because it sucked but baby blue here's the bottle and here is the nail color if I can get it to focus I should have gotten up sooner when it was darker out this is quite nice um it is a little gritty going on more so than here can you see it there we go <laughs> it's a little gritty going on but this is with like two coats, which is my normal, which, you know, it covered everything. It got a little scraped up, but it wasn't when I first put it on. Uh, it got too much light coming in. And then third color, this one is called Sea Foam. And I really like this. This was very highly pig pigmented. Um, I could have gotten away with one coat on here. In fact, I think that might just be one coat on there. It's a very nice color. I very much like it. And then the uh, fourth one is a little more like the Ninja Turtle one, but I think I can, with more coats, get it to work better than the Ninja Turtle one. Or Scream. This one is Pink Bubbles. <laughs> That's a fun name. I like that. That's cute. Pink Bubbles. And there we go. I have it on my ring finger. And that is two coats, and you can still see my, thing, my nail underneath. So I think it's going to be a lot like that scream or ninja turtle green or whatever or it's just not gonna work great then I've got this sparkly purple which is called razzle that's a fun name as well here's razzle and that worked quite nice I'm really liking their glitter nail polishes I've had some before where you put them on and it's like you have to keep putting it on to get anything on your nails so you just mostly get clear nail polish and like one sparkle so that's quite nice. It comes out, you know, you, you get a lot with one swipe, and that's just one swipe. And then the last one, but certainly not least, I'm most excited about this one. I would definitely want to try it on top of some black nail polish. It's going to be gorgeous. It is called Sparkling Diamond. Some nice silver glitter. And there we go. 
that is what that looks like and that is one swipe and it is just covered my thumbnail in shimmery glitterness so that's gonna look really good on top of pretty much any kind of nail polish I want to put it on and I'm excited to try it on the black so that's gonna look really good the only thing to say about those two glittery nail polishes is they're a little gritty so they're definitely gonna need a clear gloss on top to seal them in and to get rid of that texture feeling so I hate that on my nails and when I touch anything it's like ugh like nails on chalkboard for some people like that's just I hate it and then my very last part to talk about I'm in love with this product and I talked about it in my um, review on these things it is the overnight lip plumper from Claudia Stevens lip fix mix it works so well like my lips just got so so plump overnight I don't know. I, I just feel like it worked so well. I, really, I wish I would have had a before and after shot. I didn't have high hopes on the product. I figured it wouldn't work. So I didn't take a picture. And I wish I had. I'm going to try to find a before picture. And that will be in the review I did on this. Um, excuse me. If I can find a before picture, it will be in the review I did on this product. And um, it just worked really well. My lips felt super plump. And this is all it is. And it comes out like a little cream. It's got collagen in it. And you just, you know, squirt it on your finger and then apply it to your lips. And it had a little bit of a numbing sensation to it. Um, but other than that, that was it. It was a little greasy. But you just put it on before bed and sleep in it and you wake up and it makes kissable lips. Big and smoochy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so I totally love that product. Um and I definitely suggest it. Oh, I forgot this one. I don't know where the packaging went for it, but I did get it at the Dollar Tree. It's from L'Oreal, um, color Fresco. Icy Spice is what it is called. And it's a uh, refreshing cream eyeshadow. And I love it going on. It has a cooling sensation to it. I don't know how well you can see that. But it has, like, you put it on, it just feels nice and cool. And I use it as, like, my primer today because it is... You know, it's um, creamy and powder will stick to it nicely. So I used it as like my base for all over. And I used it under my eye. And it just, I love the way it feels. It's very nice. So I would highly, highly suggest this as well. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I'll list any information in the down bar or comment bar or whatever that thing is called. I don't know. Um, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up so I know that you liked it and I'll do more. And if you really liked it, subscribe. Because I don't have any subscribers. That makes me sad. So, anyways. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Um.